Patient safety is the paramount when it comes to any organization or health system or an, even a, an individual delivering health care. You, know, you come to seek uh, input from a clinical community to get better and then the last thing you want is to leave with a harm inflicted as a result of that treatment. Well, it's a priority of any health care system, any complex system. We know, for example, the prevalence rate of harm in healthcare systems, this is a global issue, is about 10% of avoidable harm. So everyone is looking at this within the compass of quality and safety to see how we can improve our systems, how we can build resilience into the system in reducing the harm rate to patients uh, in terms of the care that is delivered to them. Well, as systems are getting more complicated, there's a lot of research being done how we can improve uh, safety in a clinical setting. I think the approach for this would be research and development by interdisciplinary collaboration. Technology has a huge role to play in improving the safety of care. And at the same time, technology could be the culprit as well if it's misused. So the fine balance of really getting technology to help us deliver a safer care. And the only way to do that is interdisciplinary. And then the second is education and training. Uh, we really need to build the safety skills uh, in those who are involved in healthcare delivery. The resilience in a system that could only be achieved by having competent practitioners who are fully aware of the challenges of safety in a complex health environment. Well, education training, for example, master in Masters in Patient Safety, which is what we are relaunching, really keeping up to date with the challenges of a complex healthcare system. This is a wonderful course for two years, part-time, so allows any healthcare practitioner, whether you are a nurse in allied healthcare uh, practitioner, a doctor, a manager, to really come in and do this part-time course without giving up your job. At the same time, you could do your dissertation, which is part of the master's, at your workplace, a safety project, either in a hospital or a GP practice or out in the community. And it really, you develop the skills and listening to experts, not just in the healthcare arena, but in the airline industry and other systems in which they've tackled patient safety. And after the two years, you will understand the challenges, you understand the way in which you can measure safety, the way in which you can intervene to improve the safety of the care provided.